Now, finding the right place to stay is just one of many important considerations for couples in search of a romantic retreat. Fodor's travel publications can help. A new series by Fodor's begins with this book, Nights to Imagine, Magical Places to Stay in America. Recently, CNN travel correspondent Stephanie Oswald had a chance to talk with the author at his home in New York. Now, a honeymoon is just one reason to take a romantic vacation. With me now to talk about some more reasons and some magical places to stay is Peter Gutman. Peter, tell me about this new series you're developing for Fodor's Guides. Uh, in the first book, Nights to Imagine, I've spent over a decade uh, scouring the back roads and byways of America, trying to unearth those undiscovered gems that whisk you off to another dimension of romance and adventure. I've always tried to avoid cookie-cutter accommodations, chains, and franchises and I've looked for those places that kind of have an edge of quirky surprise to them. Out of all these destinations, which is the most exotic place? I would probably have to go with Jules Undersea Lodge in that you have to scuba dive to get down to it. Uh, you strap on these tanks and head down into a coral lagoon in Key Largo, Florida. Spend the night underwater, you can watch uh, 20,000 leagues under the sea on the VCR. Tell me about some of the other places that are your favorites. Well, uh, the Keeper's House in Maine is a fiercely romantic place. Um, there's no electricity there. It's still lit by kerosene lanterns. It's a wonderful and very beautiful isolated place to spend the night. The Jailhouse Inn is located in southeastern Minnesota, and you can spend the night behind bars. It's not as quite as intimidating as it sounds because they have a fabulous jacuzzi there. What about your personal favorite? Is that the same, or is there another one? Uh, I'm kind of partial to uh, Pollywog Holler, which is a small cabin up in the woods in upstate New York. And you get there after strolling uh, through the woods with a wheel with your luggage in a wheelbarrow uh, for about half a mile to reach this place. Peter, tell me about the cost of all this high romance. Uh, there's a, quite a range of uh, places, and it's not always necessary to spend uh, a large uh, fortune. The Gem Peak Lookout Tower is uh, located on the Continental Divide of Montana, just an eagle swoop from the Idaho border. It's uh, $25 for four people. Uh, simple mathematics tells you that's about $6 a person, so it's fairly inexpensive. So would you say that uniqueness equals romance in your book? Um, not necessarily. I think, that, however, that um, for those with adventure in their soul, travel is inherently romantic anyway. So if you keep your, your mind open and your senses alive, I think you can find romance wherever you travel. Peter Gutman, thank you very much. Thank you. It was a pleasure.